Kiora. It's Sunday, and I regret to inform you that we will be looking at these three examples, attempting to integrate them with the method 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 of sub substitution. That was hard. Looking at this first example, I may be tempted to simplify and try to integrate directly, but note that I have this plus five in the denominator, and so that prevents me from simplifying my x terms. So that's an illegal move. So I need to find something that I can simplify. And when I'm looking at this, a few things are going through my mind. I wanna think, can I do this biggest coefficient term, x cubed? Or maybe I want to think, can I do the whole denominator? Um, or maybe even just something like x squared by itself. So it's sort of holding those in my mind. Notice that there's a derivative here in the question. So if we take the derivative of x cubed, just x cubed by itself, well, that's going to come out to 3x squared. And so my derivative has an x squared, and my original integral also has an x squared. So that's my hint that I'm on the right track and I can make this substitution. So what I'm actually going to do is substitute the whole bottom, the whole denominator, with a new variable. So I will let u equal, and I'll just write the whole thing, 6x cubed plus 5. And then I'll take a derivative, du by dx. And so now this is 18x squared. The 5 goes away, so that'd be plus 0. And now I want to isolate for dx because I'm trying to replace dx over here. So I'm going to do an isolation. So how can I do this? Well, I can flip it and move the du to the other side. And I'm going to end up with dx equals du by 18x squared. And now I have this term for dx and I can sub in here. And thinking ahead, I'm going to cancel this x squared with this one. So let's make the substitution and see how my new integral looks. So this equals, and now on the top I have 6x squared. On the bottom I have u, that was my replacement. And then instead of dx, I have du by 18x squared. And now, I still can't integrate straight away because my variables don't all match. I have x squared, I have u, and I have du. So now I'm looking to do what I mentioned a moment ago. So I'm going to cancel that x squared. So that x squared cancels with that one on top. And I can also reduce the 6 18th to 1 third. So you can do that. So my integral now looks like, find the integral of 1 over 3u du. So I've made my complete substitution. And you can think about how to integrate this. So hopefully you got the same integral that I did. That 1 third is a constant. We can move it out front. I'm not quite done though, right? So I still have a u in my answer here, and I need to remember to sub back to x. So no problem. This is just a straight substitution now. Instead of natural log of u, I'm going to have ln of 6x cubed plus 5. And now this function looks interesting. I'm not sure that I would have been able to integrate it without using uh, a method like substitution. One thing we can do here is a quick 
derivative to check. So the derivative here is going to be, well, the third is a constant, so that stays. And then the ln part is going to be one divided by that whole thing, and you can just write it down again. So that's a straight copy. And then I have a chain rule here on the six x cubed. So then I'm going to have multiply, well, what's the derivative now? I have 18 x. The five doesn't contribute, so I'll just have 18 x squared. So that's times 18 x squared. Uh, and now when I simplify this all out, I get uh, 18 divided by three is six on the top. So I get six x squared. And then the same term on the bottom, six x cubed plus five. So that 18 simplified there. And so having a look, I think everything looks good. Here we have a lot going on. There's two trig functions and one of them is a uh, sine cubed. One of them is cubed. So I'm just gonna draw some brackets to help separate these in my mind. So I have three sines back to back to back, right? Sine x times sine x times sine x, and then I have a cosine. So what can we do here? Well, if we take a derivative of sine, we get cosine. And so if we have a derivative of sine that gives us cosine in the denominator, then we can cross this out in advance. So let's just try that and see how that works. So I'm just trying to stay a step ahead in my mind to see if I can help myself out. So let's have, let's use a different letter. Let's let t, okay, here equal sine x. Notice that I did not say let t equal sine cubed of x. I'm leaving that cubed out. So let's go ahead and find the derivative. So derivative of sine x is cosine x dx here. And so I'm solving for dx by itself is dt over cosine of x. And now thinking ahead, just like I wanted, I have a cosine x here and I have a cosine x in the denominator. So those are going to cancel out. And also going back and wondering if I had a subbed in for a sine cubed, then my derivative would be much more, well, there'd be a lot more to it, right? Um, I would have uh, a sine squared x as part of my derivative. And so over here, if I had some sort of sine squared x, well, that's not gonna cancel with anything. So I'm not going to do that whole derivative, but I'm pretty sure that would lead me down the wrong path. So let's sub these in. So this integral now equals, so instead of sine cubed, I have t cubed. And then I have cosine x, that stays the same. And then instead of dx, I have dt over cosine x. And so indeed, cos, that one is on top and that one is on the bottom, so we can cancel those. And now my integral simplifies to t cubed dt. So go ahead and complete that integral, remembering to substitute back in. So a standard power rule for the integral, I will get t to the power four divided by four. And then when I sub that back in for t equals sine x, I get sine to the power four of x divided by four, or uh, it's not sine cubed, what's something to the fourth power sine uh, quattro, something like that, sine to the fourth power by four. Don't forget your plus c. Speaking of plus c, on the very last question, I think I left out a plus c after my substitution. Very easy to do, leaving out that plus c. So for my third example, I have an interesting one here. I, what is going on in this exponent? I have a quadratic equation up here. 
So e raised to the t squared minus pi, and then I have a t out front as well. So when I see something like this, my initial thought is let's just swap out this exponent with a new variable. So instead of t squared minus pi, let v equal t squared minus pi, and then I will have e raised to the v. So my new integral will look like this. And then I still need to replace dt, so let's go back to my derivative dv equals 2t, pi is just a number that differentiates to zero. So a dt over here, solve for dt by itself and I get dv over 2t, dv over 2t. So looking at this, that's good news. I need that t to disappear and my integral now is just e to the power of v dv. Uh, so this integral is itself plus c. And one last step here, let's go back and sub in for v equals t squared minus pi. And I'm going to have this integral is e to the, I'll put some brackets, t squared minus pi plus c. And it looks an awful lot like the original one. I might have left out a two here. Where is my two? I did, I left out a two. So let's go back and correct it. See this two right here? So let's go back and add in this two. So it's actually e to the v over two. So that doesn't really change much. I'll just have a one half out front or a divide by two. Uh, and now looking back, if I were to take a derivative here to check. So putting this all together for a derivative, I do have a chain rule in the exponent. So that's where I'm going to get that extra 2t from. So I'm going to get the same thing, which is e to the t squared minus pi okay, over 2. And then I have an extra 2t times 2t. So my 2's cancel and I'm left with t e to the t squared minus pi which is exactly what I was after in the first place. t e not not 2t, t, t e t squared minus pi and that is exactly what I was after. So you don't have to check every time but it's just nice to have a look and make sure that everything is nice and tidy as you expect.